So we'll call this like guitar soloing 101. Um, so when I hear like new guitar players, young guitar players soloing, they kind of try to play really fast and are flailing about and they're not like necessarily in key, which is definitely bad. Um, so last night at the open jam, we did a uh, jamming by Bob Marley, which is simple four chord song. Uh, it's B minor, A, G, F sharp minor. All right, so I'm going to show you how knowing the chords can help you determine what type of soloing you're going to do. So now remember, you can play literally every chord at all different places on the neck. Like B minor, you can play here, you can play here, you can play here. So that's important to know because, so I'm going to play jamming with my chords. All right in that same area. So here's your B minor. There's your E. There's your G major. And there's your F sharp minor. So. So what I've done is I've established all notes that will fit really nicely you know, in a solo, even though it's very pedestrian, you want to advance past this point, but you have to at least be aware of what chords you're playing and what notes. So this one example of how you could play a solo to, to jamming, you could have... So like... So there's your B minor, there's your F, I mean, there's your B minor, there's your E, there's your G, and there's your F sharp. So that's just real basic, but it's very important that you know what chords are being played behind the solo, and you're trying to play notes that fit those chords. Uh, so that's it.